Hi, this is Chris from GrowQuest, and um, about a month ago, I started planting the vegetable garden, or gardens, in the containers, and they've been growing quite well. If you look at the first videos of where they started from in terms of size of plants, they've got about four to five weeks gone by, and uh, just after I got the containers planted, uh, temperatures quickly soared out of the 90s into the low hundreds almost daily for about four weeks. I don't think there was a, but a few days that were below 100 degrees. A lot of them were 101 to 105, I think even 107 degree day. So it was a real challenge. I lost some of the plants, not very many. Um, the ones I lost I wasn't really expecting to lose, which is the lavenders and a few others. But it was just soaring hot, hard to keep up with. But now I'm getting to one of the stages in the uh, container gardening project that I started this for to help people with, and that is the pest stage. I mean, most people can plant the plants, at least they should be able to, but I've been releasing ladybugs into the garden occasionally but uh, holding back a little bit because I do want some of the pests to develop so you can begin to get an idea of where the dangers are that will quickly ravage your garden. And uh, for the last few days, I've had a uh, good development. Well, not, not in the gardening sense, but from an educational point of view, a good development of tomato hornworms in here. And... Um, I think I've got a juvenile early staged. Yes, and you can see we got this one right here. Just a youngin. I'll put them over here on the FedEx envelope. And then go back over here to the garden. I just found another one. See, most of the pests that are in your garden are on the bottom of the leaves. So when you walk through the garden and you see a few uh, messed up uh, leaves and you don't really see anything well that's because they're underneath hiding here's a good example this stealthy uh, tomato hornworm right here feeding from the bottom of the leaf and then the uh, larger one of the uh, group here right up here I'll cut away a uh, leaf so you can see them You can see how they blend right in with the uh, tomato plant. You know, if you're just walking by, it just blends into being part of the stem, especially if you're looking at your garden from a top-down point of view. You wouldn't notice these guys at all, though they were all oh, about the size of your pinky. And they get pretty darn big. It wouldn't be unusual to have this thing about three inches, two and a half inches big. So I'm going to cut him free for a moment so he can compare him to his uh, siblings. I don't have anybody to help me tonight at the camera, so hold on. Okay, so we've got him. And, uh, oh yeah, we've got this guy right here. Whoa, there's a tad breezy tonight. So you can see the, uh, three different sizes here. Yeah. We've got this larger one right at the point of my finger, the mid-size uh, juvenile here, and this much smaller one right here. 
all three are tomato hornworms and they're just destined to become about the size of my uh, pinky so you can see looking closely at the one that's already developing how much uh, larger it's going to be there we go sorry I don't have a helper tonight helpers off in New York City at a wedding there we go so there's a good uh, view between the uh, two medium ones and then the uh, smaller one right here so that's a tomato hornworm there is a uh, number of beneficial insects that will help keep the cinder control uh, ladybugs may feed on the eggs certainly green lacewing will feed on the eggs and then there's a uh, trichogramma uh, parasites that can be released into the garden to control them I'm going to put them back into the garden um, I have a few extra tomato plants. Oh, I just spotted another one. See, that's the thing. You, know, you come out here in the evening, you have to be looking around at the bottom of the leaves. There, there's no coincidence in gardening. If you find one of something, there's often more of it lurking. So here we go with the another medium size juvenile feeding in there. You can see the white stripes on it. Again, tomato hornworm. I think uh, some of these may be destined to become bird food the next couple of days. We'll see. I have a couple pet parrots in the house and I take the leftover food that they so picky don't eat and give it to the local birds here. Uh, I think we may be giving them a little treat for the tomato hornworms. Again, you, know, you have to look at your plants from uh, underneath by lifting up the foliage, making observations of chewed marks. You can see a little black uh, caterpillar turd there on the stem. But if you keep walking by your garden and looking at it from the top down or just casually from the side, not going to notice most of these problems until it is much too late. So we'll have to begin a much more aggressive program on the other tomatoes. I haven't noticed them in the other tomatoes yet, but uh, as I said, there's no coincidences in vegetable gardening or any sort of horticulture. Usually, uh, especially with pests at least. So if you find one, there's more lurking. And... Um, We'll uh, make another video in a few more days to show the size of these little beasties. Again, uh, tomato hornworm, the evil lurking below your tomato plant leaves.